is Molly, Bibliophile Blonde. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, if you're not, um, YouTuber Spiel. Yeah, there we go. Still obviously getting the hang of this and I'm doing a fantastic job. This is arguably, this is another YouTubeism, I guess, to say, but this is probably one of my most requested videos um, due to a bookshelf tour. As you can see, um, I have a lot of bookshelves, so it is a, I think there's like seven in the apartment total, so we're gonna be walking through all of them today, um, and then I will show you guys kind of like how I organize them. Spoiler alert, they were set up with some organization, but um, now there's not as much because I'm just kind of running around trying to find space. So come along and I will show you all of my bookshelves and we will do a bookshelf tour. <laughs> with the four bookshelves that make up the bulk of the room. If you guys checked out my apartment tour video, then you can see there kind of how these set up basically the entire main space of the living room. So these are actually Target bookcases. They're the $35 house brand dark espresso bookcases. However, if you go to Target and purchase them, you will notice that they are only a five shelf and these, as you can see, have six shelves. There was a lot of dead space when I set these up, so I actually went back to Target, bought a fifth one, and then, I don't know if you can see, but these are just the uh, little, oh, there we go, maybe a little bit. You can just see there, they're like the little pegs. So I went back to Target, bought a fifth shelf, and then used the shelves from the fifth unit to turn these into six shelves. So these are the Target ones. I will link them down below but I did buy a fifth unit to turn them all into six shelves because again, the dead space is just like kind of driving me a little crazy. Um, and then the shorter ones we'll get to in a second and those are also just available on Amazon. So if we go, I guess we'll start at the top. So these are my, um, this is my collection of the Throne of Glass series. I got this series um, and then these are the hardbacks and obviously these are the nerdy ink dust jackets. So they're stunning. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of the original covers whatsoever. I read Throne of Glass on ebook and I only bought the hard covers and physical versions once I was able to get the nerdy dust, nerdy dust, um, nerdy ink dust jackets because they are just absolutely stunning. So on the very, very top we have those. Moving over to the first shelf, it's somewhat organized by genre, but you'll learn, you'll come to see pretty quickly that it's gotten a little chaotic. So this starts out as classics and poetry. So there's some Jane Austen, Phantom of the Opera, and then like Pablo Neruda, Sylvia Plath. We get into a little bit of like poetry and classics. I have a tiara. Um, this is actually like, these are all of my playbills and then a book on the Hamilton musical. So we got a little like a mixed media here. And then we go into, again, just kind of like more classics with a little bit of religion. So all of Shakespeare, Les Mis, um, have a couple of books on like spirituality. Um, we've got Ovid, like the Odyssey. So we're still kind of hanging out in kind of like classics territory. And then we get down a little bit more into nonfiction, um, Guns, Germs, and Steel, which is like one of my favorite books. And then once we're down here, we are like fully in the nonfiction section. This is really entertaining. This was my study material when I was writing the Romanov Oracle. And you can see how much I like tabbed that one kind of all to hell. So these are all nonfiction, and then it goes all the way down to the bottom and getting into like a myth and mythology. Uh, I think, yeah, these are pretty much all nonfiction. So that's kind of like the first shelf. Then we get into essentially what I call the continuation of the Sarah J Mass. <laughs> section down into fantasy so then these are also from books no no age these are um Akatar dust jackets as well i have another full set of Akatar dust jackets that have not arrived yet so i will eventually have two <laughs> sets so i'm gonna have to buy books for those dust jackets uh then we go down and i have um crescent city um a couple different copies of this one obviously we have like a night court candle um night court playing cards um, the shelf isn't totally full, so this is actually the empty box set, but then I have the paperback box set of Court of Silver Thrones, Court of Silver Thrones, Thrones and Roses, so we got it up here, and then we move down, and then these are gorgeous dust jackets for Crescent City, 
They're gorgeous on the spine. And let me actually like turn this one around so you guys can see that my baby Ruin is on the back of that one. Um, so he <laughs> hangs out there. And then I have this special edition um, Akatar, the like gold leaf version, which you guys have probably seen. And I keep that open because I do have the page overlays in it. So I keep that one open with like Reese's eyes because of course. Then I have another copy of A Court of Silver Flames because there was a dust jacket that was sold separately like just for Court of Silver Flames. Um, and I had to have it because hello, look at that Cassian, thank you. So had to have that one too. Uh, then we go down into fantasy. So this is like a pretty straightforward fantasy shelf. Um, down here, these are actually all of my special bookish editions. So these are from I'm subscribed to both Bookish Box and Fairy Loot. So these are all of the editions that have come from either a Bookish Box or a Fairy Loot Box. So they've got custom dust jackets. These are all signed. The edges are done really prettily. And I just keep these all in one space so I can remember. I also have my copies of Kingdom of the Wicked and uh, Kingdom of the Cursed. Those were also Bookish Box special editions. So I keep those kind of like half out. Uh, down here, we have more fantasy. Game of Thrones, Witcher, a um, couple more like book of the month fantasy picks that I like haven't gotten to yet. And then we kind of move thoroughly into what I call, so this is all fantasy. And then this is all fantasy too, this like second one. So then up here, these are all, there's a bit of a glare, but these are the um, plated prisoner editions from Bookish Box. They're absolutely stunning. Uh, I want to give away on Instagram, so I actually have a signed copy of Glame 2 by Raven Kennedy, which is amazing. So these are stunning. Uh, then I have everything for Foam Blood and Ash. I have a Poppy Candle, Honeydew, and Violence from Bookish Box. And then just a dark crown that I felt fit. So we've got all of our copies for the Foam Blood and Ash series and all that goodness going down. I've got all of my stuff from the Grisha verse. Valent Delights, a couple more series. Um, and then this is fantasy, but this is also all of my Greek mythology stuff, if you can't tell. So obviously I have to have a couple copies of my book and then the candle collab that we did with Full Moon. Um, we have a dark crown that was a gift um, and that just feels like it is such a NYX crown, so I had to go on top. Uh, then these are all of my Greek ones. We got a little little David statue there. Um, this is a coin for Charon, which is actually a gift from a follower, which is like so amazing. As you guys know, I have a, a coin for Charon tattooed on my arm. Uh, Hades candle, again from Full Moon Creation, so that we got like Greek, and then we keep going down, and there's more Greek. Um, Heavenly Bodies, New Obsession, and then I think, yeah, Bull from the Sea and Lord Olympus are the end of my like Greek shelf. Then we get back into fantasy. Uh, I have a little corner here set up for my friend Amy Quiver Lanin. And then again, of course, as always, the Full Moon collab that we did there. Um, I did buy the UK edition of Discovery of Witches because I felt like the UK covers were just way cooler <laughs> than the other ones. And then we go down to another fantasy shelf. And then this is where I have copies of the Roma of Oracle, which was my first book because like that's fantasy. So I stuck it on the fantasy again with the candle collabs. And then down here, we actually get into a little bit of historical fiction. So Hillary Mantle, um, all those good things. Queen of the Night, which is like an amazing one. So then we have two shelves for fantasy. And then up here, we're just kind of getting into like, I think this is general, not general fiction, but um, a good chunk of of fiction. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite series, Wrath and the Dawn, and then that's a little cut from a um, little bookshelf window of the two main characters from Wrath and the Dawn. We have this amazing We Hunt the Flame and We Free the Stars, one of my favorite duologies. Haven't read this duology yet, but I've heard amazing things. <laughs> um, oh, I do have a little shrine for Tolkien, so I have like this old copy of the Cimmerillion. I've got a leather bound set of the original trilogy, Lord of the Rings trilogy, and The Hobbit. And then this gorgeous, 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 like deluxe version um, next to a little bust of the main man, the man himself. So there's a tiny little Tolkien <laughs> shrine in the middle. Um, and then we get into, oh yeah, we got some amazing series down here, Poppy War and Tiger at Midnight. Um, go down a little bit more into, I think this is just general fiction down here for the most part. Yeah, a couple of like book of the month picks. Uh, general fiction, some really good stuff, um, some literary literary goodness with Tagore and a bunch of omnibuses of his work, which is some of my favorite. But that is kind of how the main four are organized. Um, over here, the sun's gonna be quite the glare, but um, over here is also 
all nonfiction slash arcs that I have and like need to read. So this first one is like um, where I'll put a lot of arcs if I need to remind myself, like it's next to my desk. So I'll be like, hey girl, um, you got sent that arc, make sure you read it. And then these two shelves are also entirely nonfiction, mainly mythology. So you can see there's like a lot of mythology on here. So that's kind of what these two are. So this is mainly nonfiction and also things I need to remember, like copies of arcs, things like that. And they're next to this big guy, which is kind of the main focus of the entire apartment. It's a really nice day, so you can see that JV is sleeping in the open door. Uh, we've got one more over here on the other side of the couch. Again, this is a little bit of a catch-all. So this was just like my entire most recent haul. It just filled that entire shelf, so I just put it there. So it's a mix of nonfiction and fiction. It's just like literally my most recent haul. A um, couple stragglers, so there are like some fashion books here from when I lived another life and was working in fashion. Um, and then a couple of like mass market paperbacks. And then um, my US cover copy of Discovery of Witches, the Narnia series is hidden down there in my entire Outlander series. So this one's like a bit of a catch-all, but she's cute, she's cute. And then coming over here um, as my like centerpiece, uh, I've got a bunch of Tashen books. So I have like The Male Nude and Forbidden Erotica because I feel like they are of course the perfect um, conversation pieces. And then pretty much everything on the shelf is fantasy too. So I have um, all the Anne Rice and then Kushiel's Dart, um, Thousand and One Nights copy. We get down here and there's some really amazing like Fae series that I haven't dug into yet. Um, Katie Roberts entire Wicked Villain series. I got hooked and scarred by Emily McIntyre, which if you have not read those yet, get on that. Um, and then these actually, no, some of these are fantasy as well. Most of these are fantasy. We got a couple more down here. So these are some, I think these are all pretty popular, like Insta picks. And then we've got like, obviously our queen of all things, Anne Rice. So this is just a really fun shelf. I kind of love this one and it's, most of these are to be read. <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs> Here in the hallway, I kind of have one more, which is just like an overflow shelf, very legitimately. So down here, we kind of have some general fiction. We have a couple more fantasies here, Serpent and Dove, a lot from Danielle Jensen. Uh, moving up here, these are all my contemporary romances. I don't have a ton because as you can see, uh, I don't have a ton. So I kind of just put them all on one shelf. So these are all of the cartoon covers, if you will. Hi, JV. You just checking out what's going on? Okay, so these are all of my contemporary romances and they fit on one shelf. <laughs> uh, then yes, I do have the entire Royal Diary series um, from my childhood because when you have adult money, you buy all the things you wanted as a child. Isn't that right, JV? <laughs> um, so I've got the entire Royal Diaries and then I do have the special house edition of Harry Potter. Obviously, I am a Slytherin, so I got the Slytherin House Edition. This won't stay open, but this is a gorgeous box cover um, that they did for the specialty. I think it was one of the, maybe the 20th anniversary. Um, and I got the Slytherin House version, so that's a favorite. And then there's a couple, like, you know, a couple more Tashen books up there, because oh, your girl does love Tashen. And up top, these are actually all books that I'm going to probably eventually donate or I have duplicates of, mainly duplicates or, you know, ones that were sent to me from publishers that I, maybe they weren't in my genre or something like that. So these will probably all get donated at some point, but I just was like completely running out of space. So I put them up on top of my counter. So <laughs> these are randoms and duplicates and ones I'll probably donate at some point is the ones that get designated to the top of the cabinet.
that's the tour of all of my bookshelves. I will link everything below, including like special editions and dust covers and things like that. But if I have missed anything, then just let me know, drop a comment and I will get you the link. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, all of those good things. It really does help me out so much when you do. And I'm looking forward to chatting with you guys in the comments. I'll see you next time. Bye.